True love changes people as it changes you. Hello beautiful souls. Smile. How are you? How's life so far? This is Herb Step to Wisdom of the Reaching Hand, where life step and meaning are in our connections. I believe that all of us have stories to tell, but not all have listeners. Thus, the Reaching Hand is here for you. So come as we unfold our stories and get connected to build a community. This is part 10 of the video about the book How to Deal with Difficult People by Bo Sanchez that I've read recently and I would love to share to you because of some notable ideas that in one way or another I think you can relate with. If you missed the other parts and feel the need to catch up, just refer to my previous uploads. If you also have available time and financial resources, please do consider buying this book in our leading bookstores nationwide. Imagine you're walking in the woods one day. There, you hear someone shouting for help. You run to the direction of the voice. And there you see a man sinking in a quicksand. And he says, Please, grab my hand. I'm going to die. You study your choices. The sinking man is right smack in the middle of a humongous quicksand. To grab his hand, you have to actually walk into the quicksand. If you do that, however, the man will pull you into the quicksand and both of you will die. You realize that the only way to save him is to maintain your distance from him and maintain your position of stability. Practically, it means standing on solid ground and throwing him a rope. The man grabs the rope, ties it around his body, and from your position of stability, you pull him out of the quicksand. And this point is important. He has to do something. He has to actually do something, like tie the rope around his body and hold on. In other words, he should want to be rescued. In the same way, you can transform a difficult person by allowing yourself to be abused by them. That is why the first step to transform the vampires in our lives is to protect ourselves from them. We have to maintain our safe space a reasonable distance from them. In my previous uploads, I be shared to you that there are two ways to protect yourself from a vampire or the VDPs or the very difficult people. These are to create a physical distance and emotional distance between yourself and a difficult person. By protecting yourself, you gain the freedom to love the difficult person in a genuine way. Remember about the story of the lost guy who begged for bread from an old crazy man? Let's have a quick review of the three possible human responses from that situation before I'm going to add the fourth one. Response number one, get beaten and eat the bread. Because the man is hungry, he just munches the bread and suffers the stick from the old crazy guy. In the same way, a lot of people just suffer the abuse 
of the difficult persons, whether the abuse comes from a father, mother, a sibling, a friend, a boss, a boyfriend or girlfriend, because they are hungry for the benefits from these difficult people. We allow ourselves to be abused because of low self-worth. We are so hungry for love. We clutch and clasp and grasp at the counterfeit love of these difficult people. And then we logically justify our sorry behavior by saying that this is the Christian or the right thing to do. Or sometimes, it is because of we feel more helpless when we get ourselves away from them. So we'd rather suffer from their beating because we felt like we have nowhere else to go. Response number two, walk out and find bread elsewhere. Here, the man decides to walk away from the old man. This is the first way of protecting yourself from difficult people, which is to create physical distance. It's the easiest way to protect yourself. Sometimes, it means totally cutting off the relationship. Sometimes, it can also mean decreasing your time with the difficult person. And during those times when you are together, you still reach out and love them. Response number three. Protect your head and eat your bread. Here, the man remembers that he brought his cycling helmet and he wears it. So even as he munches on the bread and the old guy starts hitting him on the head, he doesn't feel it at all. In the same way, you can create an emotional distance between you and a difficult person as the second way to protect yourself. Because there are times when we can't simply walk out or leave a difficult relationship. What if your vampire are your parents or spouse or your boss? You need them in your life or like your job you just can't simply lose it for having a difficult boss, especially when a lot are depending from you. So you choose to stay with your boss until you're ready to find another job. Leaving a difficult relationship could be much harder when you're considering other significant people other than yourself. To protect yourself from this situation, you need to use your imagination. As I've mentioned before, God gave you this amazing gift called imagination to imagine the truth that is not yet evident. Imagination can even lead to surrender your situation or these difficult people in the hands of God. Every time you feel burdened by your difficult person, do the imagination exercise. Instead of anger or hurt, you'll feel compassion because in reality, these difficult persons are also suffering from unhealed wounds. Apart from these three responses, there is actually another one which is to take his stick and break bread together. In this response, the man does something else aside from wearing his helmet. He stands up and grabs the stick from the old crazy man. He invites the old man to sit with him at a table to break bread together. This action has a message of don't lord it over me. Don't go about abusing me. Let's sit as equals and share our stories together.
This is tough love in action. Why is a difficult person difficult? Because they're broken people. Deep down, they lack love. They're very wounded inside. They could be a vicious monster outside, but inside, they're a small, whimpering child, crying, begging for love. Bad people are broken people. You can't heal their badness, but you can heal their brokenness. How? That's with tough love. At the end of the day, true love changes people as it changes you. So that's all for now. And on the next video, I'll be sharing to you how to take the stick away, still based from this book, How to Deal with Difficult People by Bo Sanchez. Stay tuned for the next update. Love, Herb's Tautuism of the Reaching Hand. And here's a reminder that life is beautiful and so are you. Take care always and God bless you, child of God. Love, Herb's Tautuism of the Reaching Hand. You may also consider subscribing on my YouTube channel, The Reaching Hand. Bye-bye!